How to use GMAS for beginners. Hi guys, today we're going to teach you how you can use GMAS even though you are a beginner. Now over here, we are at gmas.com. Before we start, we're going to look at the different things we know about GMAS. Over here at the top, we can see that we can see the different features of GMAS, such as break Gmail's limits, talk to Google Sheets, personalize, schedule, campaign analytics, automatic follow-up emails, email polling, send as a reply, segment campaigns, reply management, unsubscribe management, and bounce management. We can also see the different products such as inbox spam or promotion, email verifier, email tester, SMTP tester, domain statistics, link checker, deliverability portal, SMT service, tracker blocker, and reply project. The different uses are called email, link building, membership outreach, recruit better, press releases, political campaigns, wedding invitations, church emails, HOA emails, teacher communications, real estate marketing, internal communications, sports clubs, and beat makers. Now scrolling down, you can see what GMAS can do, such as turn Gmail into an email marketing and cold email platform. We could use mail merge personalization with Google Sheets. We could verify your list, test links, and fix spam triggers before you send. You could maximize your deliverability, hit the inbox, not the spam folder, send automated follow-up sequences, and break Gmail's limits. Uh, so before we start, what is GMAS in the first place? GMAS is a popular email marketing and outreach tool that allows users to send mass emails from their Gmail account. It is a Chrome extension that integrates with Gmail and offers features such as personalized email campaigns, automated follow-ups, and email tracking. GMAS is primarily used by businesses and professionals for sending bulk emails newsletters and marketing campaigns to their subscribers, clients, and customers. The tool also offers email analytics and reporting, which enables users to track their performance of their campaigns and make data-driven decisions. Now to start with, we're first going to click this button over here that says Add to Gmail. And then that will redirect you to the Google Chrome Web Store wherein you can add it to your Google Chrome. And then after adding it, you can simply open your Gmail account or like just like here. And we have this message over here that says you must connect Gmail to your Google account for this to work. So we're going to click with sign up with Google. And then you simply need to select the account that you need to use your Gmail it to. And then after setting up, you would be able to see this message over here. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on show me some magic. We can also see this message over here on the left side where it said that your Gmail account and browser are now connected to GMAS. Now over here, we can see that we can send our very first GMAS email campaign. These are all people that are automatically selected to set our first email campaign to. This is our subject line, and this is our body. Now, as usual, you can edit the email that you want, but you can also see over here that there's instructions, such as just click the red GMAS button below, and individual emails will be sent. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to click on this option over here called GMAS. To see the, to see the GMAS settings, we could simply click on this button on the right side, and then we would be able to see the different settings. On the top, we can see that there's a spam solver, link checker, and email analyzer. We could also send a test email to ourselves by clicking this. And we could send an email or we can create a draft. We could also send all stages. We could also select templates by clicking over here. For example, this template over here, which we saw earlier. And we could also personalize this by clicking the field for example first name last name and email address we could try and click on the last name there's also an add subscribe link over here 
And after changing this to last name, as you can see over here on the bottom left, we can see that the last name text has been copied to our clipboard. Now we can simply paste it on our message over here. So what, that's what I'm going to do. And as you can see, it has been changed to last name. I'm going to try and send a test to see what it would look like. And as you can see over here on the bottom left, this is where we can mainly see our different updates. And as you can see, this is our test message. Just like that. Now we're going to explore our settings once again. Under the settings, we can see the tracking by clicking this. We can enable the opens and clicks. We could check if someone opens our email or if someone clicks it. We could also see the action over here where we would be, where if there's an action with our email that we have set, we would, we could send them email. There's also auto follow up. And if we click this, if there is no reply, we would be able to send another email and we could also choose no open or click or everyone and we could set the timer on how many days it would wait before it could send a follow-up you could also add more stage if you want you could also click on schedule where it will set a schedule on when the email would be sent like for example from now in five minutes in an hour in thir in three hours Tomorrow at eight, tomorrow at eight a.m., tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, or you can click on custom date and time. You can also choose to skip weekends by clicking this, and you could also change the different speed. For example, we could set ten emails per day, and that will send ten emails per day, just like it said. We could also add a pause between emails. For example, five to ten seconds, ten to six. 10 to 60 seconds or 1 to 2 or 1 to 5 minutes. You can also repeat this and indicate how many times we would repeat this under a day, hour, week, or month. Under the advanced options, we could choose if it would be sent as a new message or a reply. We could add images that are hosted or embedded. We could choose who to reply to. We could verify. We could skip sent. We could see the suppressions over here. We could also do an A-B testing to see that to see which emails would work the best, just like that. We could also see we could also have the preview text and friendly name. Now if we look over here on the left side, we could also see the different labels over here, such as the auto follow-up, the GMAS reports, and the GMAS schedule. Now on the top we could also connect our email list to Google Sheet and we could set a follow-up campaign based on opens and clicks. Now I would suggest that you should explore this on your own so that you can learn much faster and that's it guys that's how you can use GMAS as a beginner. Hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching.